Part 29, Surah 67, al Muk, the Kingdom. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, blessed is he in whose hand is the kingdom, and he is possessor of power over all things, who created death and life that he might try you, which of you is best in deeds, and he is the mighty, the forgiving, who created the seven heavens alike, Thou seest no incongruity in the creation of the beneficent. Then look again. Canest thou see any disorder? Then turn the eye again and again. Thy look will return to thee confused while it is fatigued. And certainly we have adorned this lower heaven with lamps, and we make them means of conjectures for the devils. And we have prepared for them the chastisement of burning. And for those who disbelieve in their Lord is the chastisement of hell, and evil is the resort. When they are cast therein, they will hear a loud moaning of it as it, it, of it, as it heaves, almost bursting for fury. Whenever a group is cast into it, its keepers ask them, Did not a warner come to you? They say, Yea, indeed a warner came to us, but we denied and said, Allah has revealed nothing, you are only in great error. And they say, had we but listened or pondered, we should not have been among the inmates of the burning fire. Thus they will confess their sins, so far from good are the inmates of the burning fire. Those who fear their Lord in secret, for them is surely forgiveness and a great reward. And conceal your word or manifest it. Truly he is knower of that which is in the hearts. Does he not know who created? And he is the knower of subtleties, the aware? He it is who made the earth subservient to you. So go about in the spacious sides thereof and eat of his sustenance. And to him is the rising after death. Do you feel secure that he who is in the heavens will not make the earth to swallow you up? Then lo, it will shake. Or do you feel secure that he who is in the heaven will not send on you a violent wind? Then shall you know how truthful was my warning? And certainly those before them denied, then how terrible was my disapproval. Do they not see the birds above them spreading and contracting their wings? Not oppose them save the beneficent. Surely he is seer of all things. Or who is it that will be a host for you to help you against the beneficent? The disbelievers are in naught but delusion. Or who is it that will give you sustenance if he should withhold his sustenance? Nay, they persist in disdain and aversion. Is then he who goes prone upon his face better guided? Or he who walks upright on a straight path? Say he it is who brought you into being and made you for you ears and eyes and hearts, little thanks it is you give. Say he it is who multiplies you in the earth, and to him you will be gathered. And they say, when will this threat be executed if you are truthful? Say the knowledge is with Allah only, and I am only a plain warner. But when they see it nigh, the faces of those who disbelieve will be grieved, and it will be said, this is that which you used to call for. Say, have you considered if Allah should destroy me and those with me, rather he will have mercy on us? Yet who will protect the disbelievers from a painful chastisement? Say, he is the beneficent. We believe in him, and on him do we rely. So you will come to know who it is that is in clear error. Say, have you considered if your water should subside? Who is it then that will bring you flowing water? Surah 68, al Qalam, the pen. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, by the inkstand and the pen and that which they write, by the grace of thy Lord, thou art not mad. And surely thine is a reward never to be cut off. And surely thou hast sublime morals. So thou will see, and they too will see, which of you is mad? Surely thy Lord knows best who is erring from his way, and he knows best those who go aright. So obey not the rejecters, 
They wish that thou shouldst be pliant, so they too would be pliant. And obey not any mean swearer, defamer, going about with slander, hinderer of good, outstepping the limits, sinful, ignoble, besides all that, notoriously mischievous, because he possesses wealth and sons. When our messages are recited to him, he says, stories of those of yore. We shall brand him on the snout. We shall try them as we tried the owners of the garden when they swore to pluck its fruits in the morning and would not set aside a portion for the poor. But a visitation from thy Lord came on it while they slept. So it became as black barren land. Then they called out one to another in the morning, saying, Go early to your tilth if you would pluck the fruit. So they went while they said one to another in low tones, No poor man shall enter it today upon you. And in the morning they went, having the power to prevent. But when they saw it, they said, Surely we are in error. Nay, we are made to suffer privation. The best of them said, I not to you. Why do you not glorify Allah? They said, Glory be to our Lord. Surely we were unjust. Then some of them advanced against others, blaming each other. Said they, O oh, woe to us, surely we were inordinate. Maybe our Lord will give us instead one better than it. Surely to our Lord we make petition. Such is the chastisement, and certainly the chastisement of the hereafter is greater, did they but know. Surely the dutiful have with their Lord gardens of bliss. Shall we then make those who submit as the guilty? What is the matter with you? How do you judge? Or have you a book wherein you read, that you shall surely have therein what you choose? Or have you covenants from us on oath, extending to the day of resurrection, that yours is surely what you judge? Ask them which of them will vouch for that, or have they associate gods? Then let them bring their associates if they are truthful. On the day when there is a severe affliction and they are called upon to prostrate themselves, but they are not able. Their looks cast down, abasement will cover them, and they were indeed called upon to prostrate themselves, while yet they were safe. So leave me alone with him who rejects this announcement. We shall overtake them by degrees, from whence they know not. And I bear with them. Surely my plan is firm. Or dost thou ask from them a reward so that they are burdened with debt? Or is the unseen with them so that they write it down? So wait patiently for the judgment of thy Lord and be not like the companion of the fish when he cried while he was in distress. Had not favor from his Lord reached him, he would certainly have been cast down on naked ground while he was blamed. Then his Lord chose him and he made him of the righteous. And those who disbelieve would almost smite thee with their eyes when they hear the reminder, and they say, Surely he is mad. And it is not but a reminder for the nations. Surah 69, Al-Haq, the sure truth. In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful, the sure truth. What is the sure truth? And what would make thee realize what the sure truth is? Thamud and Ad. Call the calamity a lie. Then as for Thamud, they were destroyed by the severe punishment. And as for Ad, they were destroyed by a roaring, violent wind, which he made to prevail against them for seven nights and eight days continuously, so that thou mightest have seen the people therein prostrate as if they were trunks of hollow palm trees. So canest thou see a remnant of them? And Pharaoh and those before him and the overthrown cities wrought evil, and they disobeyed the messenger of their Lord. So he punished them with a the vehement punishment. Surely we carried you in the ship when the water rose high, that we might make it a reminder for you, and that the retaining ear might retain it. So when the trumpet is blown with a single blast, and the earth and the mountains are borne away and crushed with one crash, on that day will the event come to pass, and the heaven will be cleft asunder, so that day it will be frail, and the angels will be on its sides, 
and above them eight will bear that day thy Lord's throne of power. On that day you will be exposed to view. No secret of yours will remain hidden. Then as for him who has given his book in his right hand, he will say, Lo, read my book. Surely I knew that I should meet my account. So he will be in a life of bliss, in a lofty garden. Its fruits are near. Eat and drink pleasantly for that which you sent on before in bygone days. As, and as for him who has given his book in his left hand, he will say, O oh, would that my book had not been given to me, and I had not known what my account was. O oh, would that death had made an end of me. My wealth has not availed me. My authority has gone from me. Seize him, then fetter him, then cast him into the burning fire. Then insert him in a chain, the length of which has, is seventy cubits. Surely he believed not in Allah the Great, nor did he urge the feeding of the poor. Therefore he has not here this day a true friend, nor any food except refuse, which none but the wrongdoers eat. But nay, I swear by that which you see, and that which you see not. Surely it is the word of an honored messenger. And it is not the word of a poet, little it is that you give that you believe, nor the word of a soothsayer, little it is that you mind. It is a revelation from the Lord of the worlds, and if he had fabricated against us certain sayings, we would certainly have seized him by the right hand, then cut off his heart's fame, and not one of you could have withheld us from him. And surely it is a reminder for the dutiful. And we certainly know that some of you are rejectors, and it is indeed a source of grief to the disbelievers, and surely it is the certain truth. So glorify the name of thy Lord, the incomparably great. Surah 7, al Marj, the ways of ascent. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, a questioner asks about the chastisement to befall. The disbeliever, there is none to avert it, from Allah, the Lord of the ways of ascent. To him ascend the angels and the spirit in a day of measure, which is 50,000 years. So be patient with the goodly patience. Surely they see it far off, and we see it not. The day when the heaven is as molten brass, and the mountains are as wool, and no friend will ask of friend, though they are made to see them, the guilty one would fain redeem himself from the chastisement of that day by his children, and his wife and his brother, and his kin that gave him shelter, and all that are in the earth then deliver him. By no means, surely it is a flaming fire. Plucking out the extremities, it shall claim him who retreats and turns his back, and hoards then withholds. Surely man is created impatient, fretful when evil afflicts him, and niggardly when good befalls him, except those who pray, who are constant at their prayer, and, whose, and in whose wealth there is a known right for the beggar and the destitute, and those who accept the truth of the day of judgment, and those who are fearful of the chastisement of their Lord. Surely the chastisement of their Lord is a thing not to be thought secure from. And those who restrain their sexual passions, except in the presence of their mates or those whom their right hand possesses, for such surely are not to be blamed. But he who seeks to go beyond this, these are the transgressors. And those who are faithful to their trust and their covenant, and those who are upright in their testimonies, and those who keep guard on their prayers, these are in gardens honored. But what is the matter with those who disbelieve that they hasten on to thee? on the right hand and on the left in sundry parties. Does every man of them desire to be admitted to the garden of bliss? By no means. Surely we have created them for what they know. But nay, I swear by the Lord of the eastern lands and the western land that we are certainly powerful to bring in their place others better than them, and we shall not be overcome. So leave them alone to plunge in vain talk and to sport until they come face to face with that day of theirs which they have promised, the day when they come forth from the graves in haste, hastening on to a goal. Their eyes cast down, disgrace covering them, 
such is the day which they are promised. Surah 71, no, Noah. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, surely we sent Noah to his people, saying, Warn thy people before there come to them a painful chastisement. He said, O my people, surely I am a plain warner to you, that you should serve Allah and keep your duty to him and obey me. He will forgive you some of your sins and grant you respite to an appointed term. Surely the term of Allah, when it comes, is not postponed, did you but know. He said, My Lord, I have called my people night and day, but my call has only made them flee more. And whenever I call to them that thou mayest forgive them, they thrust their fingers into their ears and cover themselves with their garments and persist and are big with pride. Then surely I have called to them aloud, then spoken to them in public and spoken to them in private. So I have said, ask forgiveness of your Lord. Surely he is ever forgiving. He will send down upon you rain pouring in abundance and help you with wealth and sons and make for you gardens and make for you rivers. What is the matter with you that you hope not for greatness from Allah? And indeed he has created you by various stages. See you not how Allah has created the seven heavens alike and made the moon therein a light and made the sun a lamp. And Allah has caused you to grow out of the earth as a growth. Then he returns you to it. Then he will bring you forth, a new bringing forth. And Allah has made the earth a wide expanse for you, that you may go along therein in spacious path. Noah said, My Lord, surely they disobey me and follow him whose wealth and children have increased him in naught but loss. And they have planned a mighty plan. And they say, Forsake not your gods, nor forsake Wad or Sua, nor your Ruth and Yaqub and Nasir. And indeed they have led many astray, and increased thou the wrongdoers and naught but perdition. Because of their wrongdoings they were drowned, then made to enter the fire, so they found no helpers besides Allah. And Noah said, My Lord, Leave not of the disbelievers any dwellers on the land. For if thou leave them, they will lead astray thy servants, and will not beget any but immoral, ungrateful ones. My Lord, forgive me and my parents, and him who enters my house believing, and the believing men and the believing women, and increase not the wrongdoers in aught but destruction. Surah 72, Al-Jinn, the Jinn. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. Say, it has been revealed to me that a party of the jinn listened. So they said, surely we have heard a wonderful Quran, guiding to the right way, so we believe in it, and we shall not set up anyone with our Lord. And he, exalted be the majesty of our Lord, has not taken a consort nor a son. And the foolish among us used to forge extravagant lies against the law. And we thought that men and jinn did not utter a lie against the law. And persons from among men used to seek refuge with persons from among the jinn, so they increased them in evil doings. And they thought, as you think, that a law would not raise anyone. And we sought to reach heaven, but we found it filled with strong guards and flames. And we used to sit in some of the sitting places thereof to steal a hearing. But he who tries to listen now finds a flame lying in wait for him. And we know not whether evil is meant for those on earth or whether their Lord means to direct them aright. And some of us are good and others of us are below that. We are sex following different ways. And we know that we cannot escape Allah in the earth, nor, we can, nor can we escape him by flight. And when we heard the guidance, we believed in it. So whoever believes in his Lord, he fears neither loss or injustice. And some of us are those who submit, and some of us are deviators. So when so whoever submits, these aim at the right way. And as to the deviators, they are fuel of hell. And if they keep to the right way, we would certainly give them to drink of abundant water, so that we may try them thereby. And whoever turns away from the reminder of his Lord, he will make him enter into an afflicting chastisement. And the mosques are all Allah's. 
So call not upon anyone with Allah. And when the servant of Allah stood up praying to him, they well now crowded him to death. Say, I only call upon my Lord and associate not with him. Say, I control not evil nor good for you. Say, none can protect me against Allah, nor can I find any refuge besides him. Mine is not but to deliver the command of Allah and his messages. And whoever disobeys Allah and his messenger, surely for him is the fire of hell to abide therein for ages. So when they see that which they are promised, they will know who is weaker in helpers and less in numbers. Say, I know not whether that which you have promised is nigh, or if my Lord will appoint for it a distant term. The nor of the unseen, so he makes his secrets known to none, except a messenger whom he chooses, for surely he makes a guard to go before him and after him, that he may know that they have truly delivered the messages of their Lord, and he encompasses what is with them, and he keeps account of all things. Surah 73, Al-Muzamil, the one covering himself up. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, O thou covering thyself up, rise up to pray by night except a little, half of it, or lessen it a little, or add to it, and recite the Quran in a leisurely manner. Surely we shall charge thee with a weighty word. The rising by night is surely the firmest way to tread and most effective in speech. Truly thou hast by day prolonged occupation. And remember the name of thy Lord and devote thyself to him with complete devotion. The Lord of the East and the Lord of the West, there is no God but he, so take him for protector. And bear patiently what they say and forsake them with a becoming withdrawal. And leave me in the deniers, possessors of plenty, and respite them a little. Surely with us are heavy fetters and a flaming fire, and the food that chokes and a painful chastisement. On the day when the earth and the mountains quake, and the mountains become as heaps of sand let loose, surely we have sent to you a messenger, a witness against you, as we sent a messenger to Pharaoh. But Pharaoh disobeyed the messenger. So he seized him with a violent grip. How then, if you disbelieve, will you guard yourselves on the day which will make children gray-headed? The heaven being rent asunder thereby, his promise is ever fulfilled. Surely this is a reminder. So let him who will take away to his Lord. Thy Lord knows indeed that thou passest in prayer nearly two-thirds of the night, and sometimes half of it, and sometimes a third of it as do a party of those with thee, and Allah measures the night and the day. He knows that all of you are not able to do it, so he has turned to you mercifully. So read of the Quran, that which is easy for you. He knows that there are sick among you, and others who travel in the land seeking of Allah's bounty, and others who fight in Allah's way. So read as much of it as is easy for you, and keep up prayer and pay the poor rate, and offer to Allah a goodly gift. And whatever of good you send on beforehand for yourselves, you will find it with Allah. That is best and greatest in reward. And ask forgiveness of Allah. Surely Allah is forgiving, merciful. Surah 74, al mut the Qadir, the one wrapping himself up. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, O thou who wraps thyself up, Arise and warn, and thy Lord do magnify, and thy garments do purify, and uncleanness do shun, and do no favor seeking gain, and for the sake of thy Lord be patient. For when the trumpet is sounded, that will be that day a difficult day, for the disbelievers anything but easy. Leave me alone with him whom I created, and gave him vast riches, and sons dwelling in his presence and made matters easy for him. And yet he desires that I should give more, by no means. Surely he is inimical to our messages. I will make a distressing punishment overtake him. Surely he reflected and determined, but may he be destroyed how he determined. Again, may he be destroyed how he determined. Then he looked 
then frowned and scowled, then turned back and was big with pride, then said, This is not but magic from old, from of old. This is not but the word of a mortal. I will cast him into hell. And what will make thee realize what hell is? It leaves not and spares not. It scorches the mortal. Over it are nineteen. And we have made none but the angels wardens of the fire. And we have not made their number but as a trial for those who disbelieve. That those who have been given the book may be certain. And those who believe may increase in faith. And those who have been and those who have been given the book and the believers may not doubt. And that those in whose hearts is a disease and the disbelievers may say, What does Allah mean by this parable? Thus Allah leaves an error whom he pleases and guides whom he pleases. And none knows the host of thy Lord but he. And this is not but a reminder to the mortals. Nay by the moon and the night when it departs and the dawn when it shines. Surely it, was, it is one of the gravest misfortunes, a warning to mortals, to him among you who will go forward or will remain behind. Every soul is held in pledge for what it earns, except the people of the right hand. In gardens they ask one another about the guilty. What has brought you into hell? They will say, we were not of those who prayed, nor did we feed the poor, and we indulged in vain talk with vain talk. And we call the day of judgment a lie till the inevitable overtook us. So the intercession of intercessors will not avail them. What is then the matter with them that they turn away from the reminder? As if they were frightened asses fleeing from a lion. Nay, every one of them desires that he should be given pages spread out by no means, but they fear not the hereafter. Nay, it is surely a reminder. So whoever pleases me, mind it. And they will not mind unless Allah please. He is worthy that duty should be kept to him and worthy to forgive. Surah 75, al Qumayah, the Resurrection. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, nay, I swear by the day of resurrection, nay, I swear by the self-accusing spirit. Does man think that we shall not gather his bones? Yea, we are powerful to make complete his whole make. Nay, man desires to go on doing evil in front of him. He asks, when is the day of resurrection? So when the sight is confused and the moon becomes dark and the sun and the moon are brought together, man will say on that day whither to flee. No, there is no refuge. With thy Lord on that day is the place of rest. Man will that day be informed of what he sent before and what he put off. Nay, man is evidence against himself. Though he put up excuses, move not thy tongue therewith to make haste with it. Surely on us rests the collecting of it and the reciting of it. So when we recite it, follow its recitation. Again on us rests the explaining of it. Nay, but you love the present life and neglect the hereafter. Some faces on that day will be bright, looking to their Lord. And other faces that day will be gloomy, knowing that the great disaster will be made to befall them. Nay, when it comes up to the throat, and it is said, Who will ascend with it? And he is sure that it is the parting. And affliction is combined with affliction. To thy Lord on that day is the driving. So he accepted not the truth nor prayed, but denied and turned back. Then he went to his people in haughtiness, nearer to thee and nearer. Again, nearer to thee and nearer is woe. Does man think that he will be left aimless? Was he not a small life germ and sperm emitted? Then he was a clot, so he created him, then made him perfect. Then he made of him two kinds, the male and the female. Is not he powerful to give life to the dead? Surah 76, Al-Isnan, the man. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. Surely there came over a man a time when he was nothing that could be mentioned. Surely we have created man from sperm mixed with ovum to try him. So we have made him hearing, seeing. We have truly shown him the way that he may be thankful or unthankful. Surely we have prepared for the disbelievers chains and shackles and a burning fire. The righteous truly drink a cup tempered with camphor. 
a fountain from which the servants of Allah drink, making it flow in abundance. They fulfill vows and fear a day that evil of which is widespread. And they give food out of love for him to the poor and the orphan and the captive. We feed you for Allah's pleasure only. We desire from you neither reward nor thanks. Surely we fear from our Lord a stern, distrustful day. So Allah will ward off from them the evil of that day and cause them to meet with splendor and happiness. A reward and reward them for their steadfastness with the garden and with silk. Reclining therein on raised couches, they will see therein neither excessive of heat, sun, nor intense cold. And closed down upon them are its shadows, and its fruits are made near to them, easy to reach. And round about them are made to go vessels of silver and goblets of glass. Crystal clear, made of silver, they have measured them according to a measure. And they are made to drink therein a cup tempered with ginger, of a fountain thereof called Sassabil. And round about them will go youths, never altering in age. When thou seest them, Thou wilt think them to be as be scattered pearls. And when thou lookst thither, thou seest the blessing in a great kingdom. On them are garments of fine green silk and thick brocade, and they are adorned with bracelets of silver, and their Lord makes them to drink a pure drink. Surely this is a reward for you, and your striving is recompense. Surely we have revealed the Quran to thee in portions. So wait patiently for the judgment of thy Lord, and obey not a sinner or an ungrateful one among them. And glorify the name of the Lord morning and evening, and during the part of the night adore him, and glorify him throughout a long night. Surely these love the transitory life and neglect a grievous day before them. We created them and made firm their make, and when we will, we can bring in their place the like of them by change. Surely this is a reminder, so whoever will, let him take away to his Lord. And you will not, unless Allah please. Surely Allah is ever knowing wise. He admits whom he pleases to his mercy, and the wrongdoers, he has prepared for them a painful chastisement. Surah 77 Al-Mursalat Those Sent Forth in the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, by those sent forth to spread goodness, then those driving off the chaff, and those spreading goodness far and wide, then those making a distinction, then those offering the reminder to clear or to warn. Surely that which you are promised will come to pass. So when the stars are made to disappear, and when the heaven is rent asunder, and when the mountains are carried away as dust, and when the messengers are made to reach their appointed time. So what day is the doom fixed? To the day of decision. And what will make thee comprehend what the day of decision is? Woe on that day to the rejectors. Did we not destroy the former generations? Then we followed them up with latter ones? Thus do we deal with the guilty. Woe on that day to the rejectors. Did we not create you from ordinary water? Then we placed in it a secure resting place till an appointed term. So we determined. How well are we at determining? Woe on that day to the rejectors. Have we not made the earth draw to itself, the living and the dead, and made therein lofty mountains and given you drink of sweet water? Woe on that day to the rejectors. Walk on to that which you called a lie. Walk on to the shadow having three branches, neither cool nor availing against the flame. It sends up sparks like palaces, as if they were tawny camels. Woe on that day to the rejectors. This is the day on which they speak not, nor are they allowed to offer excuses. Woe on that day to the rejectors. This is the day of decision. We have gathered you and those of your. So if you have a plan, plan against me now. Woe on that day to the rejectors. Surely the dutiful are amid shades and fountains and fruits such as they desire. Eat and drink pleasantly for what you did. Thus do we reward the doers of good. Woe on that day to the rejectors. Eat and enjoy yourself for a little. Surely you are guilty. 
woe on that day to the rejectors. And when it is said to them, bow down, they bow not down. Woe on that day to the rejectors. In what narration after it will they believe? 